your zing is unpacked and neatly set up next to your computer. So you think to yourself, it's been sitting there for three weeks now, it's about time I make my first cut. This short video should help you get started. We'll start by making a welded word. Change the virtual mat to portrait. Click on the text and fonts tab to choose your font. Now type your word. Once your word is on the virtual mat, you can pick it up and move it around. Notice here how the whole word is treated as one group. Let's say I wanted to move each letter individually rather than the whole word. Go back and change the setting to split by glyphs. By clicking inside the selected area, notice how the mode changes from rotate to distort and then size. Let's move the individual letters so they overlap. Select the five letters, then by right clicking on the letters, choose the shape magic option and then weld. Notice how the keyboard shortcut for this operation is Ctrl W. I often use keyboard shortcuts when selecting make the cut functions. Try experimenting with the distort mode to give you some interesting effects. Now it's time to cut. The Zing cutting control window controls how the Zing will cut. Here we can control cutting speed, blade force and other functions related to cutting with our Zing. Notice that I have knife point selected. In this mode our cutting media can be placed anywhere on our mat as we set where the blade will start cutting. I use this mode the most as it allows the most economical way to cut with our Zing. A brayer roller is a handy tool to have in your cutter toolkit. When placing my mat in the Zing, I usually try to align the edge of my card under the pinch roller bar. Now choose set blade origin. Remember, in knife point, it doesn't matter where our card is on our mat because we tell the Zing where to start by setting blade origin. The origin is the bottom right hand corner of my design. Now let's make a shadow mat for our word. Right click on our word, go to shape magic and select shadow layer or control H. Move the slider to the shadow size of our choice. Note how we can turn layers on or off by clicking on the eye icon in the layers bar. We need to turn the original layer off so that we may cut the shadow layer. Time to cut my shadow. Let's check the size of my card. Set my blade origin. You may also use the keyboard arrow keys to set your origin. Ok, so here's some other info that might come in handy when starting off. It's useful to do a test cut when using media that you have not used before. Again, set your origin. Choose test cut by clicking in the connect box and select your image. 
If your settings are correct, you should get a clean cut. When starting off, use a test pen or a marker to help you get a feel for where things will cut. Setting your virtual mat to landscape will change the orientation of your cut. I prefer using portrait mode as it leaves the orientation unchanged. So a title that reads from left to right on my screen will cut from left to right. Notice how changing from portrait to landscape also changes which corner of my word the origin refers to. Clicking in the use these settings box will save your current virtual mat settings for the next time you use make the cut. Hope you have found this video useful. Also if you have any other questions don't hesitate to call your retailer. We are there to help you. As Sandy says in the manual, don't get frustrated, get help.